Word out of Denver is that Russell Wilson will be held out for week seven and instead backup Brett Rippon will get the start against the Jets. Brett Rippon's only career start back in 2020, week four, was also against the Jets where he threw for 242 passing yards. He had two passing touchdowns had three interceptions, and finished as the quarterback 23 on the week. And you're thinking to yourself, well, who were the fantasy studs for that game? Uh, Tim Patrick was a 100-yard receiver in that game. Jerry Judy had 60 receiving yards. Noah Fant had five receptions in that in that game. And Melvin Gordon rushed for over 100 yards. Now we have Melvin Gordon back. And it's also, uh, you know, Cortland Sutton is available. He was dealing with the ACL tear during 2020. And now uh, Jerry Judy, I don't think, is going to be a playable asset. Cortland Sutton is possible, you know, there. And so if you're desperate for a super flex play, I mean, Brett Rippon maybe. But Sauce Gardner has played really tough against cornerbacks. And you have to downgrade Cortland Sutton as well in this matchup. It, this is probably going to be a turnover-heavy game. The Jets have played well this season. And with Russell Wilson out, I mean, long-term, I think this is the right call. Short-term, it's going to be tough for Denver to work back from the losses and from Russell Wilson not playing well and just the bad play calling. This is you know, an epitome of a disaster right now for Denver. So the only player that I'm really confident starting is Cortland Sutton as a low-end wide, wide receiver two flex consideration. Melvin Gordon is a really risky high-end running back three for me. And Greg Dolchich is still a sleeper tight end. You should be, he should be a high-end tight end two consideration for week seven.